Hello, it's day nine of lockdown here in England and this is today's easy to implement quick win to help you keep building your resilience and look after your mental health. And today is all about marginal gains. So marginal gains are small 1% increments of success to get you over the line. And sometimes, as we all know, we're overwhelmed by massive to-do lists or the things that we should do, or sometimes we're looking at other people and we're comparing ourselves and we're doing it very negatively and that all makes an impact on us. It's a huge complicated world outside and inside your head, but you're in charge of how you respond to it. And it's all about recognizing your own achievements, however small they are and however small they might appear to you. And a great example of understanding the importance of small wins is when in 2012, the British cycling team gained 34 medals across the Olympics and the Paralympics. Britain cycling, seriously? Well, you can imagine controversy surrounded their success and led to an investigation into drugs, inappropriate use of equipment, but what the investigating team discovered was that their success was partially down to the minute attention to making marginal gains. They discovered that the team had employed a head of marginal gains. Yes, that was actually somebody's job title. And the head of marginal gains had broken down everything that the cycling team did to find that extra 1% of growth. So they had employed a surgeon to teach them how to wash their hands properly. And they also banned them from shaking hands with other people, obviously to prevent them getting colds and infections. Oh, how ahead of the time they were at that time. They also banned the use of public transport for the team, again, to stop them getting infections, just small things. They plotted their training route with different diversions to help the team spend more time on the coach in order to relax before events. And they even changed the positions of their beds to help them to get a better sleep. So if you look at your day and you feel overwhelmed, why don't you just start maybe by writing a list of what you can do what are the small things that you can take charge of that will take some of that stress away? Can you lay out your clothes the night before? Could you perhaps get up 15 minutes earlier in the morning? Could you tidy your room and make your environment a bit better and a bit more comfortable? It's 1% at a time over time can lead to lots of benefits. So yes, concentrate on the small stuff and see what happens. Uh, it's Friday here. I uh, hope you have a lovely evening and I'll see you tomorrow.